everyone, and welcome to a Deck Tech on the Constructed Criticism YouTube channel. I'm Spencer, host of Constructed Criticism and Limited Time Only, two podcasts about getting better at Magic the Gathering. Today we are talking about a deck that I love so much. Uh, I uh, brewed this deck long, long ago, and uh, I didn't think that it would ever make a comeback in a time where I could play it. But it is very possible that we're getting a banning of Felidar Guardian coming up, and if we do... I think that black green could make a real comeback in this format, and if it does, I think this deck is very well uh, positioned. So today we're going to talk about blue red spirits. We'll start with this Eldrazi though. So we'll start with four dimension. Dim we're going to start out with four dimensional infiltrator, four mausoleum wander, three nebelgast herald, three niblis of frost, four rattle chains as our creatures, one essence flux, three glimmer of genius, four harness lightning. 4 Shock, 4 Unsubstantiate, 4 Collective Defiance, 3 Incendiary Flow, and our land base is 4 Ether Hub, 2 Highland Lake, 4 Island, 3 Mountain, 4 Spire Bluff Canal, and 4 Wandering and Fumarole. This deck uh, does not gain a lot from the new set. I actually looked at the new set pretty hard to see if maybe there was a Flash creature or something that really helped this deck out as... Uh, you'll see it has a lot of flash creatures in it. Um, nothing really stood out that wasn't in the, that wasn't a sideboard card. We do have a by force and two magma spray in the sideboard by force. I think that just you know being single red and and uh, being a little bit easier on your mana is something that you're really okay with. It's possible that this should just be a release the gremlins, but I think starting uh, you know having having it be cheaper in this deck, this tempo deck is a little bit uh, a little bit better. So. So in the main deck, the strategy is, I think, pretty obvious. What you're going to do is you're going to play cheap flyers, as all of our creatures, you'll notice, have flying. Uh, and they're all at a very low mana cost. And you can also play them all at instant speed. And then you interact with your opponent in different ways, you know, through removal spells, unsubstantiate, uh, you know, and and things like that. Uh, just, just to give yourself, like, a real tempo game. Uh, the deck, the deck is so fun. I, I honestly, the one of the things that this deck got from the last time we tried it out as a team, so we were testing this for GP uh, Portland back in the day, back in Collective Company days. One of one of the things that we didn't have was Shock, and and Shock is a huge upgrade for the deck. You know, just giving you that little bit of reach you might need. Uh, you know, being able to deal two to your opponent while tapping something down with the Nimbus of Frost is just so powerful. And uh, you know, it. it it just does a real good tempo play. Harness Lightning and Glimmer of Genius uh, combined to let you kill things a little bit bigger, as well as fix your mana for Ether Hub. The, the deck overall just it has everything it needs to be successful in a world that isn't surrounded uh, by copycat combo uh, being so good against Black Green. And then, you know, po post board, you can start to do things against against vehicles and if copycat gets banned i think the deck is even even in a better place Dimen dimensional infiltrator you know while you did lose shivan reef you got ether hub so you can still activate this card's uh, ability um you know overall the, like there's there's there is so much to be said for a deck that your opponents don't know what's going on and the fact that you're a tempo deck where your opponents don't know what's going on makes this deck even a little bit of a better choice right now, I think. So I am going to be trying this deck out in in you know the upcoming events. Uh, the only problem that I really have is Highland League is really bad, but I think you need it to make your mana good. Um, and I do wish that we had uh, Insanity Flow at instant speed. It would make the deck a lot better. Collective Defiance is something that has been very, very powerful. It's a huge tempo play where you get to deal your opponent three uh, uh, and kill kill their best creature for four mana, uh, all while attacking with, with flyers in the air. And, and really, I mean, it makes it so hard for them to be able to play against you because, honestly, there's not a lot of flyers and a lot, not a lot of creatures to breach outside of, uh, you know, right now, just, just the vehicle in, in the form of... Heart of Kieran and Ether Severe Harvester. One one thing to think about, you know, a, a lot of people have already asked me this is Spencer, but like you're playing so many X ones in a world, everyone's favorite card walking ballista. And you know, honestly that that's true. There are a lot of walking ballistas. You do have Essence Flux, you can unsubstantiate it if they try and get the two for one while time walking them. You have shock to to, to deal with it. Um you know, but but honestly, you're tempoing them out so much that I think it's really not that big of a problem for you. Uh, and and also, you know, they're, they're, 
it it's just so easy to to have to be ahead in the games where that happens. The that yeah, you you definitely want your creatures to to live, um, but you know you can uh, you can obviously protect things with rattle chains. You can uh, protect things with essence flux, and all all the while being able to to tempo them out still. So overall, overall, I, I think it is something that you need to worry about, especially in this format. But uh, it, it's not as big of a deal as I think people would say. Let's go to the sideboard really quick. We have two Ether Meltdown, four Fevered Vision, one Dispel, two Magma Spray, two Negate, one Mountain, uh, two Chandra, Torch of Defiance, and one By Force. The Mountain is just for when you bring in those Chandras. Give you a little bit more red sources and, uh, you know, a little bit extra with Chandra. I could honestly see a world where you don't want Fevered Vision and instead you'd rather have the Dragon, the 4-4 four, the four, four Flyer for 4, instead, and, you know, you board into this game plan of Magma Spray, Mountain, the Dragon, and Chandra. That, that might be a really good place to start. Overall, I think that this sideboard uh, has enough to deal with every kind of deck that you could possibly come up against, all while feeding into your original game plan of, of tempting out your opponent. So uh, this is something that if you haven't, uh, you know, if you have these cards lying around, because some people might still have some Mausoleum Wonders and Rattle Chains lying around, I would highly recommend trying. It's, it's First of all, it's a really fun deck to play. It's something your opponents don't expect, and it's pretty inexpensive. So uh, that is it for this week. Please let me know what you think of the deck. Please try it out. Give me, uh, give me some feedback. I know that I'll be trying it. It's something that I really enjoyed playing back in the day. And I will be trying it again. So thank you everybody for watching. And we'll see you guys all next week.